What is the location of your fleet? <laughs> now you shall pay for your treachery. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play That's My Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. And with The Last Jedi right around the corner, I thought it was time for us to go to a galaxy far, far away and enter the world of Star Wars. Yes, today and uh, in a couple days when I play my last video, uh, we're going to be playing Star Wars games to kind of wrap up our Let's Play Thousand One game series for the year. Um, these will be the last two videos that I do for this series over the uh, for the remainder of the year, but I will be back in January with some new videos. Um, this is a very interesting opening crawl. As you can see, it is very pixelated, but it is also to the Empire's theme. Normally, the Star Wars crawls have the Rebel or Luke's theme. The good guys, the good guys music. But today, guys, we are being the bad guys. We're going to go and pilot some TIEs, some TIE fighters. It's it's common in video games to play as the good guys. It's kind of cool that they have some Star Wars games where you're legit playing as bad guys. So this opening sequence, by the way, is from the TIE fighter... Uh, collector's CD-ROM edition. So long story short, I got this game on GOG and it comes with like three versions of the game and like none of them work right. Um, oh, this is this is just looks totally awesome though, by the way. Um, here we have the Emperor looking awesome. Soon, peace and order will be restored throughout the galaxy. This guy just seems like such an untrustworthy leader. Forces led by Darth Vader are striking back at the rebel insurgents. I do love these graphics though. These graphics are blowing me away. So we're actually watching uh, the opening from the CD version of this game. The CD version of this game does not work with my joystick at all. It only works with the mouse and it's virtually uncontrollable. So we're watching this opening. Then we're going to jump to a different version of the game to actually play. Um, here is General Thrawn. He's like one of the big leaders um, in this game. So this game basically takes place between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Actually, I remember there were like a number of novels and other video games that took place in that time period. It seems like a very fertile time period because there's lots of uh, activity between the Empire and the Rebels. So there's lots of good content that takes place between uh, those points in time. Anyway, this came out a year after X-Wing, which was uh, a game basically where you pilot an X-Wing. If this game you pilot TIE Fighters, like this dude, we're gonna be this guy. Have you guys ever wanted to be this guy? You've seen him in movies, you're like, I wanna be that guy. We're gonna be that guy, guys. Um, but they made a game called X-Wing where you have to play as the good guys, ugh. And now finally we get to play as the Dastardly Empire. Uh, this game uses the same engine as X-Wing, but we're gonna be fighting pirates, traitorous Imperials. We're gonna prevent a coup against the Emperor. We're gonna do all sorts of great stuff, guys. And because we can't go any further but watch the intro, let's ho hop over to the non-collector's edition version of this game so we can actually play this thing. Alright, so this game cannot be played without a joystick. At least I can't figure out how to play without a joystick, which is kind of a bummer because most of these old DOS games you can at least play with a, uh, with like the DOS keyboard. Enter your name, pilot. Ah, but we do got some awesome voice acting here. So we have to use a joystick. And I don't know what's going on with the other versions of this game, but like they just don't detect my joystick. So, so when you buy this on GOG, you get three versions. 1998 version, the 95 version, which is the CD Special Edition version that we just saw. By the way, I took over uh, Top Ace. That's my character here. And you get this version, the oldest, the 1994 one. Um, the 98 version doesn't run. The 95 version doesn't detect the joystick. And the worst version here, the, the sort of most retro version, I should say, because not necessarily the worst. There is some charm and appeal to these old school graphics is the only one that actually works. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what the opening obstacle course was. Maybe we'll do a couple of these training missions, but I don't wanna linger on them too much. So here we are, they're training us how to fly a TIE fighter. I tried this out before I made the video, guys, because I had to make sure I had a joystick that actually worked. And here it is. This is how TIE fighter pilots get trained, I guess. They fly around in corridors and shoot at triangles. The most sinister way to train all your troops. You can tell that the Emperor is just pure evil. Flying through a tube like this. What evil, what evil mind could concoct such a training scheme? 
Um, I have significantly improved, actually, my piloting capabilities since I first started trying to get this game to work. So the nice thing about me having to fiddle around with different versions of this game and stuff is that I did practice a little bit more, just like a tad more than I typically would um, before hopping into a game. I like going into games blind, guys. I know it doesn't always lead to the most, uh, the most elite gameplay, but I think, I feel like... I, like, like, I'm the kind of gamer that likes to just explore games. Like, I don't know what you guys are like. Like, do you guys like to do your homework and know all the controls before you start a game? Or do you just like to kind of hop in and see what it's like? I think I'm the hop in kind of guy. And um, both, both methods, by the way, I think have advantages and disadvantages. I think the hop in method is sort of more fun in terms of letting you explore. And there we go. We just made it through the first segment. Um, but definitely, as we have encountered in the series, when you just hop into games, sometimes you can get stuck because you don't know what's going on. So there is something to be said for doing your homework first. I don't know. I guess I just never liked homework. So when it comes to games... Oh, God, there's balls, too, now. I never got to this part. So now we're fighting not just triangles, but balls. They've really amped it up here. They're really testing my evil. You know, if this is, like, the height of the... The Empire's training of TIE fighter pilots. No wonder the X-Wing fighters could always kick their butt. Okay, enough of this. Let's go ahead and eject. Okay, so we ejected. We can now exit to debriefing. Debrief us. Tell us all about the, the balls and stuff. The training course consists of a circular track filled with targets and obstacles. Targets, piers, multicolored pyramids, blah, blah, blah. I wonder what the other training courses here are. Is it all this? Just at higher levels? The TIE interceptor. The TIE bomber advanced the assault gunboat the tie i've never seen these before okay forget about all of this let's get out of the simulator i've i've killed enough rectangles it's time time to go for real wait which which do you think it is combat chamber or new battle huh or tech room or film room no i don't want to maybe you can go here and like watch all the star wars movies let's go to new battle how about that yeah here we go all right so the omar battle uh, no. Previous battle, previous battle, previous battle, previous. I want to fight... There we go. I want to I wanna find a system where I know. Hoth. Yes, battle number one. Take me away. Oh, I guess I selected the profile top ace. He's probably beat this whole game. So how do I, uh... How do I accept? Return to... No. Initiate the battle! Oh, I just went into a cutscene somehow. I mean, these cutscenes do look awesome. I, I have to give the game props for this. It, it's just, I, I feel like I'm a kid playing on my DOS machine again. I love these things. Okay, but we've seen enough cutscenes. we got to get to the gameplay here. Oh, I have come enough. with an offer for the rebellion. No, no, it's too... T okay, we got, we got we got to go back to the gameplay. This, this is... It's drawing me in, but no, fight it, Jay. Fight it. So our mistake was taking over Top Ace. Let's go in as, actually, let's not be J. Can we be Evil J? Because I think only Evil J would align himself with the nefarious empire. Evil J has high aspirations. All right, new battle. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's get this going. Join battle, here we go. All right, so I guess Top Ace had finished the game. Maybe we could have just gone and replayed this battle. Interesting. It's it's kind of interesting how like it's all. Oh, what's going on over here? There's it, it's like it's trying to simulate the rooms. You just click on parts of the room to see what's going on. One Tie Fighter. Well, wait, wait, wait. Your mission is to inspect all cargo carrying vessels as they pass our station. Oh crap! I'm gonna have to scan people. I just want to kill people. We're on the lookout for rebel forces that are fleeing from the base Hoth. You know a great way to find rebels fleeing from Hoth is look for the ships that are flying away from the surface of Hoth and just kill them. That's that's how I would do it. But I guess you guys want to be all peaceful about it for some reason. Since when did the Empire get shy about killing civilians? I joined the Empire at, a ro at the wrong time, man. Uh, transport re requesting permission to pass through Sector. Hmm, did it come from Hoth? Because if it did, I'm going to kill it. Also, how have I completely gotten lost already? Where is everyone? Uh... <laughs> wait, 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 what the hell? Okay, there we go. Can we just shoot this thing? Is this the transport or what is this? I can't tell. Oh, it shot back though. 
Oh man, those TIE fighters. They're just like paper mache, aren't they? 100% of freighter group must be inspected. 100% of transport group must be inspected. Okay. Let's try this again. Returning from the battle in need of medical assistance. I don't think I was trained very well. This is pretty cool, though. Oh, they're like injecting me with like whatever. I don't know. Just go for it, man. The Emperor knows what's best for me. The em I'll hail the Empire. Talk to Flight Officer. He's going to be pissed. Um, debrief me on the mission. Any special instructions? Well, that's enough for now, sir. He's my superior, but I'm calling the shots. I'm like, you know what? We've had enough. We're going to give this one another shot. Okay, hold on. So, let's see. Where? I know how to, like, speed up my accelerate here. Okay. So, the thing is, where are the cargo ships? Freighter requesting permission. New craft alert. Transport at... Transport's requesting permission to pass this sector. I see no transports is the thing. Was it, Is that original thing that I saw a transport? Okay, there's, there's my buddy. There's another buddy. That is a TIE fighter. That is, okay, we have something that's unknown. We have an unknown. We have a bogey. It's over here somewhere. All right. Let's see if we can just shoot it. Okay, we found some transports. I like this. We're improving, guys. So the TIE Fighters, I guess it is true to form that how they just blew me up so easily. The TIE Fighters always struck me as, like, literally being useless compared to X-Wings. Like, I don't know what it is. Is it, like, bad training on the Empire side of things? I'm just doing, like, a bombing run on this one. I don't trust that you're, you're with the level, man. I think I'm definitely going to have to look up controls here to figure out how to scan these guys. <laughs> I guess just firing on them is... Is not acceptable. Nobody's nobody's telling me to stop though. Let's just see what happens. Man, like not only did I get destroyed in one shot, but I'm in effect. What? I'm out of lasers. I'm out of lasers. How do you run out of lasers? I have no bullets left. Okay, this. Seriously? Oh my god. Laser cannons armed. Well, apparently not. All right. Well, in a second, I guess we'll look up controls. Let's just take a take a moment and enjoy the space. Um, but as I was saying, wow, I guess Tie Fighters are completely ineffective, just like in the movies. I mean, I always found it odd how like Rebels would get in battles. There'd be like ten or twenty X Wings, and there'd be like a thousand Tie Fighters. And for some reason, the Rebels would be like holding their own, if not winning. And I always thought, man, like, the, the TIE Fighters must be worse shots than Stormtroopers. But I also noticed that in the movies, TIE Fighters get destroyed really easily. X-Wings seem to, like, take a few shots before they go down. So, yeah, I don't know. TIE Fighters. Not not the best way to be to travel in style, I guess. Um, this is ridiculous. Okay, hold on. We have, we have to look up some controls here. Okay, we can get, like, another view of this guy. That does not seem to do anything. Oh wait, no cargo. No cargo. No cargo. How are there all these cargo things that have no cargo? Oh, he has no cargo too. Wait, was that me or, or I'm I'm getting so confused. So I did look up the controls. There's there's nothing that says scan. You can target guys, but you can't scan them. <laughs> oh man, like I was literally just talking about how I like to jump into games and I'm instantly failing. Okay, hold on. We we gotta we gotta retry this one one more time here. <laughs> You've ejected safely. It looks like my Tie Fighter just spontaneously exploded. But if you want to call that a successful eject, I'll take it. Okay, so this is what I read. All you have to do is target the ships and fly towards them, and eventually you'll inspect them. So I guess he sort of sort of inspects people automatically. I I still don't quite get it. Oh god, and it's gonna be a real hassle to find out where these guys are. I don't even quite know, understand how to read my radar. Look, I have radar to the right and to the left. Can you guys make heads or tails of this? Because, like, I cannot. Like, what, what direction are these people in? Oh, hello. Distance. Distance to destination. Okay, I think I'm getting closer to him. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we're gonna slow down a little bit. 
and we're just going to fly directly at him. And let's see what happens. We're going to use, we're going to give him the old eyeball inspection. You know, I was expecting for the Battle of Hoth there to be more to do than just sort of bureaucratic inspection of like cargo. But I will take it, I guess. I mean, okay, it says unknown. So we'll just keep flying towards it until that unknown changes to something. Let's look at him here. Following flight plan. Um, yeah. So this game was, by the way, rated as one of the best games of all time by some people. I... So far, I'm not impressed. I've had a hell of a time getting this thing to work. And I was expecting more action. Oh, there we go. We inspected him. Let's inspect this guy. Before we crash into him. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, where... Oh, crap. Where did they go? Where did these guys go? Imperial transports dispatched to board the freighter. Are we, are we inspecting this guy? Inspect him, too. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, we're inspecting. Interesting. Uh, well, okay, I hope the game picks up. Let's not rag on it too much. This is just like the opening level. It does feel... Whoa, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, okay, well, uh, <laughs> inspection mission failed. You know what, let's go back to Ace Pilot and see if we can just try one of the later levels, because this is all ridiculous. <laughs> hey, look, there's like a combat pod over here. Learn to use your sensors. There's like a lot of stuff to teach you, and like, that's fine, but like... Can I just hop into some action? Stay with your flight leaders, you patrol the area. I don't want to patrol the area. I want to fight. Take a large group of disabled spacecraft. No. Give me the rebels. I'm ready, chief. Put me in. Put me in, coach. Destroy a rebel probe. Not a probe. I want rebels. Learn to use your sensors. No, enough with the sensors. Is there no way to... What the? I can roll my sleeve up? Is that a good thing to do? It's like nothing but simulators and film rooms in here. I thought we, I, I signed up to kill rebel scum, man. What's going on over here? Okay, Evil Jay's career is now over. Now we're going back to top ace. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to fight. Oh, wait. There we go. Join battle. Okay, so hold on. Um, let, let's find a cool mission here. Okay, so let's start back at Hoth. That was not a cool mission. Defeated the rebels. No. Admiral Harkov addresses the leaders of two warring planets. Boring. Thrawn oversees repairs. Boring. There's one about Darth Vader. Let's just do that one. At the poor meal system. Oh, wait. I didn't want to watch another cutscene. I wanted to actually fight. What is the location of your fleet? This is an awesome cutscene, though. Now you shall pay for your treachery. So, like, is there no way to replay a battle after you've won? I don't understand. You can just watch the cutscene? Okay, I guess we have to join the battle of level 8. I'll do it, man. I'm going to take on the hardest mission. I, I'm just so desperate for combat. I will do anything at this point. The things I would do to get into combat, you guys have no idea. Oh, this is advanced. Advanced missiles or advanced torpedoes. Ah, forget it. We don't need a briefing. I know what I'm doing. I think probably not, but I'll figure it out. Put me in, chief. I don't know what I'm piloting. It looks more advanced than... I don't think I've been cleared on this craft. I probably have no idea how it works. Oh, we're going to the hyperspace. I didn't even know we could do that. Okay, here we go. Coming out of hyperspace. Oh, God. I hope I don't have a complicated mission. What am I in? I'm glad that you're here. Me too. What are we doing? I really didn't even look at the mission briefing. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, okay, we got all these friendly probes. Any enemies around in this game, or is it a lot of just inspection? All right, we're just going to shoot this guy. He's asking for it. I don't know what he is. He might be a space station. He might be a another fighter. He might be a cargo ship. Why am I having so much trouble figuring this game out? It's crazy. 
Well, since we're floating around here in space, interesting bit of trivia for this game, guys. This game uh, was originally released, a demo was released on two floppy disks with uh, Computer Gaming Monthly. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, but you used to be able to buy computer magazines, and with the magazine would come discs or CDs that had demos on them. And I remember many a time buying a, a game or a magazine just for the, the demo games. And, oh, do we have enemies finally? Where are the lasers coming from? That cloud? Alpha one, begin porting operation. I, I were that was that on? What we were supposed to do that? Are you guys on my side? What is happening? Okay, still have yet to see like a single enemy ship. There's just a lot of like nothing as far as I can see. But anyway, back in the day, you would uh, buy magazines just for the games. I always thought that was totally awesome. I used to love buying demo discs back in the day because like for a lot of games like this. If I played a demo of this, I would have known off the bat that, like, yeah, just not for me, and I wouldn't have probably carried forward with the game at all. Um, but as it is, uh, good old GOG managed to sell me three versions of this game. Two don't work, and one, as I'm seeing here, is not really my my bag. So I really wish I had been able to play a demo for this game. Feels like demos are a thing that, like, companies are, like, not doing anymore, you know? It's kind of weird, like... Like recent, like a while back, like movie companies were complaining that like Rotten Tomatoes is like making it harder for them to make money because you know like how dare how dare the internet review our movies? It's kind of like it, it's like people are trying to hide stuff these days. Like you make a game and you specifically don't want people to try it. That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't you give a free demo so people can try it and if they like it they'll buy it? If you don't give a demo, that's when like people will go and that's when you need stuff like Rotten Tomatoes to um, tell you if things are good. And then if stuff isn't good, people aren't gonna buy it. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, pfft. man, should we give this one more shot? Let's, uh, I, I, I can't just leave this. I gotta get into some reasonable combat here. All right, let's see what our mission was on this one. So we have received a distress call from the Thai advanced plan of Omar. They are under attack. And what would you like me to do about it? Uh, we would like to save the plants, but the lives of the Imperial personnel are our primary concern. Three Thai defenders from Alpha Group will hyper in to assist in the evacuation of the remaining personnel. You are to provide protection over the withdrawal. Oh, God. So that station that I destroyed, that was our people. Guess I shouldn't have shot it. Okay, well, I just wanted to know um, what we were supposed to do there. I'm actually, I've had a, I've had a flash of inspiration, guys. It's called... Let's go and try some of these simulators because I kind of feel like the missions are just too advanced for us. And in the spirit of try wanting to try this game, let's actually try uh, a mission. So use your sensors, no. Stay with your flight leader, no. Take out a large group of disabled spacecraft. Try and destroy uh, tugs that are attempting to repair the craft. You know what? That sounds good enough. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's enter our Star Wars Oculus Rift here and do it so how do we enter the mission let's go all right so i believe that i should be able to just target whomever i want oh that looks like an x-wing to me oh my god we have finally found an enemy all right guys we're doing it we're going full speed ahead and we're gonna this is this is how the uh tie fighter should have fought in uh um, you know, all those Star Wars movies. Oh, God, I think I clipped a wing. Oh, I was not looking. I was paying attention. I was trying to, like, lower my, uh, lower my velocity. Man, that's, that'd be sad if a, if a TIE fighter gets taken out by an incapacitated X-Wing. That's just embarrassing, in fact. Although I would not put it past the, the Empire. We are not necessarily the most well-trained, uh, cadre of troops, I'll tell you. In fact, I can't even find, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I can't even find where the enemies are. Okay, let's just go ahead and blow these things up. So I, I presume that if you continue to play this game, more exciting things happen. Hey, we actually blew up a ship, huzzah! Let's all high five uh, in virtual reality. Throw your hand up towards the screen and pretend that I high fived through the power of the internet uh, back at you. So yeah, you can blow up ships, you can get in dogfights, I presume. Oh God, I'm out of lasers again. Uh, th there's a way to do this. No, nope, not that. Not that. No, don't match the speed. With no, no. <laughs> God. 
We are losing a fight to incapacitated X-Wings. Oh god, we're out of lasers. Uh, there is a button. It's like F10. This craft is not equipped with deflector shields. Cannons recharging at increased rate. You can... Oh, there we go. The cannons can be recharged. There we go. I knew it. Okay, it was F9 to recharge the cannons. There are plenty of buttons. This game is reminiscent of, like, Mech Warrior 2. There's just a lot of buttons to learn. I mean... Guys, forgive me. If this is a game that you love, I am sorry that I'm doing such a bad job with it today. Um, it simply is a game I've never played before. And there's a, it seems like there's a lot of uh, training missions that I would have to... Oh, God, we're, like, right on this guy's tail. This is an actual dude! Oh, my God, this, this is no longer just, like, incapacitated spaceships. That's an actual dude. We are act We're in a dogfight! It has happened. Our dreams have come true. He's, he's, it's not so much a dog fight as it is one dog chasing another dog. Because that first, the first dog does not want to fight. Does not want to scrap with this dog. This dog has got it out for that dog, so. Okay, I think he, he's gone. He's, he's made a speedy getaway. I don't know where he's going. He, he got away from us. Well, let's, let's just say that we killed him. When the, when the boss asks, you guys will back me up. We killed him, right? <laughs> They're going to say, what happened to that extra one? Like, ah, he's dead. They should call him an o-wing because that's the, the shape his ship made when he blew up no longer an x anyway so yeah i apologize if this is a beloved game of yours but like i honestly am just not very good at it never played it before um i am finding it very very challenging so i, I think a game like this 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 game is on people's list is like a top game of all time and like i don't disagree that it might be good once you get into it but like i'm having a hell of a time today so i so i would say this game has a learning curve man definitely has a learning curve and as i mentioned uh i, I don't think there's anything out that way i think i'm like locked on to nothing like all the good stuff is over here um as i already mentioned this game you know if you do want to play it on a modern computer like i'm trying to do just be aware that the 1994 version is pretty much the version that I myself can guarantee you will work because it's the version that I've got working here. If you want to play one of the more advanced versions, the advanced versions look a bit nicer actually and the CD version looks pretty cool, especially with all that voice acting in the intro. The sad thing is I don't know if you can get it working. The CD version specifically, hey there's another guy, oh my god we just found another dude. Ah oh, crap, we lost him. Ah oh, crap, where did he go? <laughs> no, this is my problem with space games guys, they're like... Literally, I'm terrible at them. Um, but the C the CD version, um, it doesn't seem to work with joysticks. You have to play with a mouse. And that doesn't actually sound that bad, except for the fact that you have to calibrate your mouse as if it were a joystick. It sounds awkward when I say it to you guys, believe me. I could not get the damn thing calibrated correctly, and the controls were awful. They were terrible. So I don't know if you'll have better luck if you give it a shot. The, 98 ver the 1998 version... Really, I I don't think it just works on modern computers, at least mine. I think mine's a 64-bit PC. That might be the problem. Maybe a 32-bit will work. So just be warned. Just be warned. You know, like, if you want to go seek out this game. Um, oh, God. This guy's just circling around me, toying with me. There he is. All right, we got him. Ah, joke's on you. You flew in front of me and alerted me to your existence. Now I will kill you. Like the rebel scum you are. Oh, he's, he's getting away, though. Why are we only going at 25%? Let's amp this baby up to 100. Let's get right on this guy's tail. Oh yeah, this is just, just like in the movies, guys. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we actually got to see some combat here. So yeah, um, what do you guys think of TIE Fighter here? Is it a game that you grew up playing? Is it a game that you know how to play? And can you speak to some of the funner elements of the game in the comments down below? I wish that we had been able to get farther in this game, guys. But like, honestly, like, it's just... For a variety of reasons, just having sort of trouble, like, clicking here. Um, by the way, what did I say before about how X-Wings are, like, uh, beefy and TIE Fighters made out of paper mache? Like, I was shooting that guy, like, four or five hits, he didn't go down. Uh, meanwhile, like, one hit from, from him, I'm sure, would just destroy me. I think TIE Fighters are equipped with, like, self-detonators to prevent any, uh, rebels from capturing any Imperial guys as, as prisoners of war. So it's like, if the ship gets damaged, it's like, uh-oh, better just self-destruct. X-Wing Blue Force has been destroyed. Hey, who did that? It was mine, man. I softened him up for you. But anyway, uh, yeah, do you have any fun memories of this game that you can share with us? Let us know how awesome this game could be. Admittedly, my little playthrough here was me just kind of messing around with it. Let's not even call it a playthrough, guys. Let's call it a, a Let's Try video. And it's not even a Let's Try video. It's let, Let's Try to Try video, because... <laughs> 
I don't want I don't want to make any claims that I did particularly well today. Um, I did enjoy checking this game out though. It is it is really it is a really really awesome looking game, and I particularly love those cutscenes. Oh man, the, the DOS era graphics and the Star Wars nostalgia in this game is like off the charts. So I mean, this game does have some positives. Um, the difficulty in getting it setting up, set up and actually learning how to play, and, and it is a bit of a slower game, it seems, compared to some other modern shooter uh, Star Wars games. Um, so those things are like downsides. I mean, I don't know. I think ultimately, I don't know if I myself um, would consider coming back to this one. So like, if we're thinking about this is in the, the book, Thousand One Games You Must Play Before You Die. I understand that this game is by some people considered one of the best games of all time. I just don't happen to see that myself like this is I guess it's just out of my genre my wheelhouse of what interests me but I don't think that I enjoy this game nearly enough to consider it one of the best I don't think I consider it enjoy it enough to come back to and again this is nothing against people who do like it it's just you know in the little limited time I had with it and when I was trying to figure it out it's like most of the time was spent confused and or I mean honestly like look at me right now my pilot's kind of bored He's just like flying through space with nothing to do. Like, I think I'm just terrible at flying games, guys. So jog it up to my incompetence if you'd like. But yeah, I don't think that this is a game that I would definitely, that I would necessarily recommend. Um, unless I knew someone who really liked flying games. But I, again, I just want to stress that there are some things I think are cool about it. Especially those cutscenes. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you consider that opinion or not. If you want to agree with it or disagree with it, you can let me know in the comments down below just how crazy I am to, to not necessarily love this game. But that's my opinion, and damn it, I'm entitled to it. Um, we're all entitled to our opinions, guys. So yeah, what do you think? What do you think of TIE Fighter here? What did I get wrong about it? Because I'm sure uh, people are going to come to its defense, and that's totally fine. Come defend this game. Defend your beauty. Show me why it is amazing, and I will listen. Maybe I will change my mind. Probably not, but I will listen at least. Um, guys, it has been fun checking this game out with you. If you agree, go ahead, slap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Oh, <laughs> and right on cue, uh, my start, my TIE Fighter detected the fact that I was starting to wrap this video up. I was like, well, self-destruct. Don't want to leave any survivors. That would be terrible. Um, uh, it's sad we don't get the little montage of being returned to the craft and being healed. Um, because we only died in a simulator. Man, we died in a simulator. It's like a new level of failure. Um, but anyway, yes, I will be back soon with a, uh, another video. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And, uh, may the force be with you. Alrighty, guys. Peace. Wait, I'm being taken to a secluded prison planet? I mean, if nothing else, we're getting to see these awesome cutscenes. Prisoners, move into the building now. Oh, guys, I think it was captured by the rebels. Is that supposed to happen?